Okay, dokie. Welcome to Passed Out the Prologue. This is a single player alpha build that I got on Steam. It's free to play. I downloaded it. It's one map and you get about 10 minutes of gameplay if you don't die, pretty much. Um, I did a little bit of this. I've done two or three runs already. This is my random character. There's no music or anything on the uh, on the main screen, which is really weird when you're making char character creation. You can obviously change... The colour tone, how muscular your guy is, etc, etc. I don't think that actually changes anything, to be honest with you, but whatever. Uh, fat head, a little bit of thin cheeks, fat body, fat, yeah, okay. Let's go thick boy. Uh, clothes, I guess, it's just... That's all there is, really. Uh, head, you got a lot of brows, you can change your hairstyle, colour, and etc, etc. Eyes, all the good stuff. Lips, you can spend like five minutes doing that if you really wanted to. But the main uh, screen is this. Uh, options isn't too bad. You do need to change a couple of the buttons because I didn't like crouch and control, so I changed that to C. Interact is okay. You pick up stuff pretty easy. W A C D to move. Since there is a little high, you need to change that down instantly. Graphics is obviously wherever you want them to be. Audio it's it's quite loud again, but it's not too bad. Uh, crosshair size and then you can change what crosshair you kind of want and stuff. Uh, let's go with that. Um, but right, so, I played a couple of games of this to this, so I know what I'm doing. I'm going to try on the hardest difficulty, which is really too difficult. The, the AI kind of have, like, this is just bots just now, obviously, when it comes out as a multi probably be able to play other player, but... Uh, yeah, so you can actually have ESP if you want to play with that, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it on... I'll do it on hard. I'll probably die a couple of times, but I really enjoy the game, so... Uh, this is just pretty much the map. It's a very small map. You can actually run quite... You only have 10 minutes to run from one side to the other, so... Um, I'm going to start in the corner back here. Uh, basically, the game is kind of like a BR. You have to be the last person alive, and there's loads of zombies and stuff you have to watch right for. So here we go. You get into the game, press tab. Uh, you can see all the weapons and ammo and everything at the bottom left that you have. I actually spawned with a backpack, which is really weird. Um, but other than that, you have to run around picking up these white boxes. It's funny how you can see them through stuff. Um, oh, et cetera, et cetera, but it's not too bad. So you pick up loads of stuff. You can also craft in the game as well by pressing B. It shows you tapes and stuff, and you make one grenades to make flare flare grenades, bullet vests and stuff. It's too complicated to play armor. I've not meant, met, uh, seen any play armor in the game so far, but, uh, yeah. There, there's the zombies over there. Aiming is third person until you get a sniper. There is a sniper in the game. I've no, had it once. And then you'll probably see it on my uh, next left. Oh, I'm already getting shot at on hard. This is not a good idea. I'm going to see where he is. He's already got better guns than I do. But Obviously, like I said, this is AI. But they are a little bit aimbotting. I'm not going to lie. But... That guy just followed me. Yeah, that's just. <laughs> Did he still shooting me even though I'm dead. All right, dude. All right, dude. And that's the game, pretty much. That's uh, that's not a good start, right? But you know what? I'll show you on medium. I'll give at least a better chance of a two-minute uh intro than the instant gib as soon as I start. So let's start over here. Put it on medium and see what happens. Alright, sounds like I've got somebody near me already. I can hear the footsteps. Alright, so run around, pick up all this stuff. Hopefully you find a gun pretty quickly. And a backpack is really handy. And there's a gun. I'm looking around here, trying to find some stuff. Oh, loads of boxes of ammo. It's always nice. I'll take the helmet, because... You seen how when I was in the hard mode a minute ago that uh, I just got instigated by a guy who rushed me and killed me. I could have probably played it better, you know. I mean, I ran away trying to find better ammo or whatever, but it's kind of my own fault for not just standing there fighting, going down with the ship as it was. I noticed on medium that there is not nearly as much zombies scattering the map, which is quite handy if you want to do some scavenging. 
but uh, as you see in the top left, there are 30 players in the game, uh, and in the top right we have 10 minutes before a helicopter comes down and you've got to extract. Uh, to extract, you need to stand in the zone for uh, 15 seconds, I think it is. Um, which is really annoying because when the zombies come in, they literally bomb rush you. Pop this helmet off. There we go. Probably not the best shooting in the world, but we killed him. What did he have? He had an AK. He could pick up more, multiple guns, so that's always handy. Got an M4 on the AK now. I did notice there is uh, airdrops that come in eventually around with, like chopped helicopters and stuff that's come in and blow up. And uh, they can give you like legendary military weapons. Uh, yeah. So far so good. The better than I did my first one, but obviously this is not on hard difficulty. I'll go back to hard after this one. I just want to try and give you a better understanding of the game. My aim is not good. Uh, but yeah, it's, you get points for killing the zombies as well, I think. But um, I'm actually just a target in the players right now. I know there's one player. You have to be careful because they will rush you with shotguns as well. And zombies like to climb up buildings and jump down. So that's why that guy came out of nowhere. Ah, oh, there's a an actual backpack. Pick up some more stuff. Oh, uh, to heal, you press Y or T. Some buttons to, to heal, but Medipack will to heal you over time. I just realised my life was quite low there. Before I go into another fight with a zombie or something, there's another backpack over here. Um, but yeah, I'm just looking around, see that you see it, climbing up the walls. Like I say, I don't actually know what you get for killing the zombies, I think it's just a higher score, but... The, this is where I got the military equipment the last time, was down choppers, so let's see if there's anything... ...exciting here today. M4, M4... grenades. That was way lucky. I'll take it. Uh, so I'll just swap this other K for the shotgun. Shotgun's pretty good. Obviously, it's really good for close up, uh, close quarters. But you get quite a range, you're in trouble. Like, yeah, you know, bandage up quickly, get my health back up to full. Okay, that was quite clearly a visual bug. Randomly, people just zombies showing up out of nowhere. Oh, about five minutes in, I think we do get the airdrop in, or at least I did in the, the other round that I did. Um, I'm, hope, I'm hoping it comes in. See. Any one of these bullets could pop you in the head, like... Just like that. <laughs> ah! I did not, I had no idea where he came from, but he just came around the corner, popped me in the head and I died. But that's the game, uh, you just gotta try and survive for 10 minutes, uh, then obviously you get an extraction point at the end. I will show you right now, um, what that looks like, but, uh, yeah. Alright, let's try this. Medicare. Lock at least to start with. Ammo. Oh, I could I just. Can I just. Ah, I get it. Definitely taking an AK. Can I swap the uh, pistol for the AK? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Full med kit. More AKs everywhere. Shotgun. Captator. Fair enough. Pistol ammo. 
All these boxes just run over, they pick them up. Ah! The fuck? Killed one, boys. Dory doing better than last time. He had some good stuff actually. What's this? Uh, so, would I say why he used bandage? No, E. Probably a big waste of a medikit or whatever, but I guess. I don't have any bandages this way. Try to uh, pick it out. What the hell? Are you shooting me from? All right, fair enough. Oh, I see you. I see you. Kinda of gives me the H1G1 vibes. But fuck off, zombie. I guess you gotta survive what? 27 minutes or something. 10 minutes. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I like this gun though, it's pretty handy. No map or anything, so it's kinda weird. I a shotgun does. <laughs> I just shot. The session is way too high still. I would never know. Here, bro. Mayday. We have an That's the airdrop then. Oh, no bullets. That's not good. No shotgun's terrible. There's people that carry more stuff over there.
Oh, it's a military stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 I'll take this shit. Yeah, boy. Bulletproof vest, absolutely. <sighs> Sniper rifle. Demon. Okay, so how do you zoom in? Oof! I figured out how you zoom in. Gotta be a button to zoom in. What was this? Oh, I can make stuff. Ah, oh, okay. I'm gonna have a look at the buttons in a second to see. Controls. How do you zoom in? Aim is right click. So not zoom in. Load slot. Inventory switch weapons. Caps lock. Craft is B. Invert tab. Crouch. What is technically? Is there anything button C? Crouch is definitely got to go. Red. Red. Oh, Jesus. Jeebus. What the hell is these zombies, man? Oof, that's terrible. I'll get shot now as well. Alright, so you can carry three guns, apparently. Oh, you can go indoors. Oh! I found aim! Oh, maybe I was... Maybe I wasn't using the sniper rifle all the time. I managed to... Well, that looks like a... Decent AK. Let's try this. 16 players left and a minute left for some sort of evacuation. Zombies is eating players again. Pick up some stuff. Woo! That's in there. Yeah, it looks weird. I don't think the bullet actually goes where you think it's going to go. And zombies, man. They're in there. Can I jump in this car and get Oh, he just got mauled by a zombie. Where the hell's the extraction point? Am I in it? No, it's way over there, okay. HOLY! Jeebus.
Holy! What the hell? Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, I'm so dead. What the hell is this? Jeebus. This is going to be like an absolute bloodbath at the end here. Do I just escape or... Oh, 15 seconds to escape, are you kidding me? Oh, I'm hurting, I'm hurting. Oh, it's just too many zombies, man. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> yep, so uh, welcome back to the main screen. Obviously that round didn't go very well. Obviously I died. There's far too many zombies at the end there. It's far too many zombies. But I guess if I stayed in the smoke, I might have been able to escape, but you never know. And we'll try again on hard. Um, I really want to try and get a high score on this and see if I can get on the ranking screen. But it's really difficult with other players. I mean, real players would probably get quite fun. But, um, the AI, a little bit aimbotty, I would imagine, but, as you've seen, but, and the zombies are crazy on hard mode. There's just so many of them. You have to, oh, legendary backpack to start with on this one, that's not bad. I want to check next to this helicopter, see, I'll take the pistol just now, just in case I run into the zombies. Anything good over here? Take the M4. Anything else? Ban age. Yeah, pretty much all there is. I'll take an extra medi kit though. I do need them. Bandage. Switch over to the M4. I uh, don't need that. I've got a legendary. Got a helmet on. I do wonder whether it is is there a boundary to the game? Like, do you get in trouble for going out of boundary or this? Because I don't. I think I've actually been up here. What happens when you run to the edge of the bar? Do you just die or does it, it come up and tell you that you're running out of boundaries or something? We've just got to test it. I'm going to test that theory. Unless, because there's no map. You can't press M for map or anything. So I'm just going to test the theory of running away. I'm just going to die. If I die, then I'll just restart, obviously. But Oh, wait. That looks like... Like minefields? Or Ooh. It's just littered with zombies galore. Yeah, it's literally zombies, so that stops you running out of the map. Okay. It's good to know the test, I guess. Do you fall damage? What's a fallen like on this? It's not too bad. Run down the hill. Alright, 30 players. Nobody's died yet. Two minutes in. I haven't seen anybody, obviously, because I've ran away out of the map, but let's have a look. Loads of zombies down there. Ooh, crash heli. I don't like how you can't scroll up and down the weapons. That's something I'd like them to add, but let's get anything. Ooh, uh, rare M4. Another legendary backpack. Another legendary backpack. I was kind of hoping for a dragon off or something, but... I mean, it's... Take another med kit. Can I take another med kit? Yep. Oh, plate armor. Shred... Oh, you can shred. Okay, so this is the crafting part of it. So I've got some plate armor. I need two compensate, but I'm not entirely know how to get compensate. The legendary stuff you can shred for plate armor. Can I shred the blue? No. I'm learning, boys. I'm learning. Bunch more play armor. What's comp? Couple of zombies just lying about inside themselves. Fair enough. 
Is it rubbish? Can you... Nope. I guess I'm trying... Oh, wait. Well, not that you can shred bandages and medikits and stuff, maybe. Just pick it up. You don't actually get a chance. Unless maybe the blue ones and... I don't know. If I come across another blue medikit... Ooh! There's no sound of the zombies coming in, so you never know when they're going to come behind you. Close on. Whoop! See? Bandages. Always oh, take the meds. Oh, here we go. Can I shoot? No, you can't shred that. Is it only le legendary stuff you can shred? What about helmets? No, because that wouldn't be right. How the hell would it call Oh wait, tape? That's tape. I actually don't know. Anyway, let's uh... I really would like to craft. Let's craft this and see... Can I... Oh, here we go. There's another airdrop. Where is it coming in? Is it going to come in the same place? How do you... How do you craft... A oh, there we go. Right, so I crafted a grenade fla flare frag. Boom. So let's see what this does. I'm hoping zombies run towards it. I want to see what this uh, airdrop dropped. Blue. Ooh, there it is. There's the stuff I'm looking for. There's the armor. Alright, cool, cool. I haven't met any other players yet. I haven't had... Let's see if I can aim... Ah, okay. So the bullet does go pretty much where you want it to go. What was that? that? Alright, no. I thought I could chop a tree down or something. Shotgun... Unless I bug the game out, there's no other players I can find. Unless they're just not spawning in. Which would be... I don't see any players. I just don't understand. Unless they're all bugged out and spawned on top of each other somewhere, but... Honestly, I've not seen another player. I've not heard another player. There's not many zombies. I guess I'll find out when I extract. If I get to extraction, but thirty players. Surely the the play, the blue died by now. So I think this game, I think this round is bugged. Lots of zombies there. Oh, another player. But oh, there is other players. Woof! He just killed. He just killed that zombie for me. Try to get this other player. Ah, 
I'm really not good at sniping. Uh, can I make a grenade? No. Oh fuck! What are you? I guess the players spawn when they get near the 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 town because they were not here a minute ago. This boy like running around or something. I'm a little concerned I've lost that guy. There he is. So he's flanked me, it's what he did. Oh wait, composite. Oh I'm dead, 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 I'm definitely dead. There's no way I'm getting out of this. All the players have finally decided to show up. And they're chasing me down, apparently. Leave me alone! Oh. I don't know what that game was, but yeah. I don't know, maybe the game doesn't load the bots in unless you get near the city or something, but... Whatever it was, that was weird. I managed to run out the entire outside of the map and then get into here, then they all spawned and started shooting me, so... But yeah, I got gam- uh, well, I got ganged on for three or four mobs there and I just couldn't do anything about it. I could probably fought them, but I don't think I was going to survive regardless. I had 20 odd seconds to get to until the instruction chopper came in, so that would have been nice to get to, but... Ah well. We'll just try again, shall we? if the players actually spawn this time. But I noticed something, it was a car or something that, or maybe it was, I was shredding something that gave me the chance to make composite, which would have given me body armor, but... Bandage... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what it was I was shredding on that car. I'll have a look back at the footage and try and find out, but... Let's see if we can find ourselves a backpack. Or we find players and zombies. Oh! Find oh, there's a backpack I was after. So the so the AI charges it. I noticed that. So as soon as they see you, they zerg rush you. I do wonder if that's the sort of play style that people are going to do in real like when the multiplayer comes out. I do wonder if that's sort of like get you used to it because players will zerg rush but they will run away as well so. Can I shred? No I can't shred this. Bang. Oof! Take it! Must have been hella low though, I'd imagine. See, there, oh. See, there is items in there, so I do wonder if you can get in the building. Unless it's just bugged out and just spawned inside the game, like inside the walls. Fill on medikits. I'm dead. Ah, uh, bugger the zombies. Oh, he's climbing up the wall. <laughs> he left me alone. It's fine. I'll take, I'll take it. Ooh. Hey, bandage. Always take a bandage. Seven minutes extraction. Let's go. I don't think I'm gonna get there, but we'll try again. It's actually quite a fun little game to challenge with. Actually, to be honest with you, I'm really enjoying it. I mean, it's 
I like single player games anyway, so this kind of right up my alley. I mean, once it gets like fully thingied out, like flushed out and stuff, I think it'd be quite good. I mean, I mean, you could imagine just sneaking about, hiding behind cars and stuff, waiting for another player coming in. You, you have battles with them. I'm so dead. Ah! Ah, well. That'll do it. Not bad. I quite enjoy the game. I'll probably play more of it. But, uh, yeah. This was the first look at Passed Out the Prologue. So, thank you for tuning in. And, uh, yeah. See you in the next game. I've got loads coming on. So, hopefully I'll see you soon.